building's history, know it simply as the Murder Hotel. The infamous hotel was run by a mysterious family for several generations, until close to In unrelated news, the trivia murder party killer is still on the loose. This is your wake-up call. Prepare to die. Welcome to Trivia Murder Party. That glowing review in Real Hotels Magazine was a fake luring you here to fight for your life. Only one of you will survive. Also, someone took a number two in the pool and I am not happy about having to clean that up. Okay, first question. Pick the Nicholas Sparks book where both romantic partners survive. Use your device to answer the question. <laughs> and the correct answer is... Who got the question right? The rest of you, come with me. And here are your bags. Welcome to room 105. More dice? Don't mind if I do. It's real simple. The player who rolls the highest will die. But we've got some help to make this more interesting. You have an extra die that you can give to whoever you want to make their odds worse. Roll the dice! The player with the highest total dies. The dice don't lie! You're not going anywhere. Okay, so don't freak out. But you're a ghost now. Keep playing and you just might steal someone else's life force and win the game. Oh, by the way, the audience is a player now and can win the whole frickin' game. Hot tip, you can join the audience at any time. Let's keep moving. Just like my third cousin Torvald, which of these famous dancers died when her scarf got tangled in the wheel of a car? still alive. Time for consequences. Salutations! Welcome back to the killing room. Donation time. You all get $500. Give some of that money to another player. The person with the most cash at the end will die. But if you give to someone and they have $1,000 or more, I will kill you instead. Begin. Let's see where all the money went. You are the richest, and you are the deadest. Ah! 
You know, I avoided this place most of my adult life, but it's surprisingly nice to be back. To you, this is just a haunted murder hotel, but to me, it's a haunted murder home. Let's try another one. What is Scout's real name in the book, To Kill a Mockingbird? Floating corpse in the Atlantic Ocean get to the Great Lakes? Chalices. I've given each safe player a poison pellet. Pick a chalice to drop your poison in. Now it's your turn to play. Pick a chalice to drink from. Poison does what poison does, so if you drink from a poison chalice, Bye! Delish! Now let's see what everyone drank. Aww, no one drank any poison! What a waste of poison! We're here! When one player is left alive, we'll go to the final round. Next question. Who was the first to pollute our ear canals with auto-tune? Everyone pick an elevator door. If you all pick the same side, you all live. But if there's a split decision, I will kill everyone on the heavier side. Everyone's going into this with the best intentions, right? Let's see where you all landed. Did I not make it clear that at least one of you should try to betray the others? Come on! Let's try another one. Since cyanide smells like almonds, I can easily hide it in... Transylvania?
I want to show you something. Let's do a spooky handwriting test. The ghost of my aunt Mildred loves to write words on mirrors. Pay attention to her unique handwriting. Now, Aunt Mildred is going to write a different word, but so will everyone else. Draw a word on the mirror, and maybe you'll trick someone into thinking it's Aunt Mildred's. Go ahead and start writing. Pay attention to the words as they appear, and try to spot my auntie. So many convincing words to choose from. Now, type the word that Aunt Mildred wrote or you die. Would the real Aunt Mildred please stand up? Aww, you got it. Aw oh, man, mirrors are such bad luck for me. Let's try another one. Who's a widower? Who picked this? <laughs> Everyone is wrong. Come with me. I'm giving you all scratch tickets. What a quirky last minute gift. Scratch and find three dollar signs to live. If you keep scratching, I'll give you cash for every dollar sign you find. But if you scratch off even one skull, you die. Happy scratching! Why stop now? The contest is almost over! Ugh, you did the bare minimum? Just like my father's parenting style. We know what a losing ticket means. <laughs> Let's keep moving. In order to be elected Pope of the Catholic Church, a candidate needs support from how many of the eligible cardinals? Follow me. Screw it. Let's play a game of Quick Lash. The game will send a funny writing prompt to your devices. Enter the best answer you can think of and hit send. I made the timer a little longer, but don't take forever with your jokes. It's not TKO long. Let's see if you're funnier than my neighbor. Sexiest arts and crafts project for a ghost and a human to complete together. Oh, I hated that movie.
All right, everyone else, vote for the answer you like the best. The player that gets the fewest votes dies. Okay, let's see what people think. Okay, we have a loser. Well, this is fun, but I need it to end. Time to get serious. Okay, this is a game where only one person can survive, so... I hope you don't mind a little water. Only one of these keys will open the lock to your tank. So many keys to choose from. I don't want to tell you what to do here, but pick another key. One last chance to avoid drowning. I guess I could have given you less keys. Well, hindsight is 2020. Glad to see you're the one to make it here alive, but will you be the one to escape? I'm going to give you a category. Andrew Lloyd Webber musicals. Tap each and let's see the right answers. You move forward one space for each correct answer. You're a little bit closer to escaping. Oh wait, did you think it was going to be just you? Oh, that's cute. If a ghost catches up with you, they will steal your life force. Then they can escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. And they get a third chance to help them catch up to you. Time is almost up. Lines from Liam Neeson's speech and taken. Brass instruments. Is the audience going to catch up and win? Don't fall behind. Here comes the darkness. Worn around the neck. Time is almost up. A lot of lucky guesses. The French mother sauces. Here comes the next question. Ten letter words.
let the darkness consume you. Fuck the brands. Time is almost up. That ghost can smell your life force. Tarot cards. The darkness approaches. Black Mirror episodes. Tomato varieties. Time is almost up. Mm, you stole some yummy life force. Time to make friends with the darkness. One last trap. If you want to break through that barrier, you'll need a perfect answer to this question. And that includes the third answer choice now, too. You have to get all the right answers to escape. Force the look like force. Shakespeare quotes. Good question. 